brought me to when I first got the job. Oh, well, I said, you need to see the case that you will be served. And that's that one example of what poverty might look like. Excuse me? Did David come with you? No. Because a lot of these guys work for him for different construction jobs. Um, but he said, you can ride out a little further down, and they won't let you in. No. No. Um, I mean, someone will stand up the road with a gun and ask what you did. Yes. Yeah. And, and a lot of these families are very proud, um, so they struggle on. Instead of reaching out and getting some of the help that is available to you. Right. Um, you know, I thought in our conversations with Dr. Whitehurst, it was very funny. Struggling college, you know, young, struggling college married couples never realized that they would probably qualify for some aid in buying groceries and things like that. Um, How far down do we go? Do we keep on going? Uh, no, we can't go any farther or else um, the guns will come out. Yeah. Right. Um, I okay. you, they're talking about I don't know if you've read in the paper about old fire trail road. Well, this is the road that they're asking the kid the Residents are asking the county to help them with. Um, a lot of people like it being private. Sure. For reasons um, they just don't like strangers coming up with this. Right. Right. Um, but a lot of people, we, there are a lot of people that own large tracks up in here that haven't even built. They don't even live in Bedford County. So they don't care how the roads are. Then we have families moving in that have miles to go to get to the bus stop. I had one parent last year that just was raising pain because we went to school. They hadn't even plowed a road yet. That's right. And, um, you know, how am I supposed to get my children there? All right, we got to move. Sorry. We got people getting out of the car behind us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to move. And Pat is right about the level of pride and support that a lot of families in this area have. We had a grandmother to come in to register her three kids on InfoSnap. She doesn't have a computer, internet, is unfamiliar, does not know how to do it. So she made an appointment with Kim this summer to come in, and Kim sat down with her and walked her through the process, basically did it for her with her sitting there, and she wanted to give us $20 to go to lunch, Kim and I. And we would not take it with that. She was insistent upon us taking the $20 for taking her, our time for doing that. And, and so we told her to that we, um, you know, would give a donation to the kids of our school. But she was insistent, and she did not have a lady that wanted to give us the $20 this summer. She did not have $20 to give us. Uh, but she was so proud and did not want to seem like we had done something without her doing something for us in return. And that was not a $20 she could save. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and that's part of the southern country. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised she didn't bring you a cake. Exactly. Or bring you some food. That's exactly what, right. that's what we did. Mm -hmm. You can roll on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So to understand that there are very valuable resources that these families have. They look out for each other. They protect each other. Once you're a part of their group, you're theirs forever. Um, if you have a need, they're going to be there for you. And it's not monetary. It is absolutely not. No, they'll give you the shirt off, off their exactly back and they don't have it to spare. Um, And I think sometimes in the more urban areas, that's what 
some of the children are missing. They don't have that safety net of a grandma, grandpa, extended family, or extended community, aunts, uncles that are all in one spot. Um, and children move around so much that they just don't have that. A lot of times here, when they settle in, they're here. Uh -huh. I'll give you an example. We had an outbreak of lice a few years ago, which is common in elementary school, it's no big deal. But we were having trouble with reoccurring infestation, just reoccurring, reoccurring. And I had one lady from the community, again, did not have the financial resources. She came in, she talked to the nurse, and within a week and a half, not only had she taken care of the children, but she took their pots home, um, some of the laundry, and the, the stuffed animals and bags. She took that on because she saw it as a problem in her community. So she came into the school, got educated so that she could educate others so that the problems would be eliminated. Right, but that speaks volumes about your schoolhouse, though, and she felt welcome. And knowing that you were a resource for her so that she could serve her families and her community. Well, I wish there was some way we've talked about an after school evening program for parents and kids. Parents can be doing one thing, kids can, and we can be working with the children um, in another way. Um, We're having on September 5th, 15th, I'm glad you mentioned that, because I've been thinking about how do we make connections with families who otherwise may not make connections because they don't live in the same neighborhood, you know, maybe the kids are slightly different ages, they're not involved in the same church or activities. We're doing a back to school cookout. Oh, that sounds like fun. Feed them, they will come. Yeah, right. And so we're going to sneak in that educational piece. They're going to have 20 minutes in the classroom, and the rest is going to be a good old fashioned community cookout. We're going to have food, glow ups, face painting, raffles for the adults, just so. The main purpose is for people to get to know each other so that we can start to build some of those connections that are lacking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, you know, if the parents had the children were off, were off doing something in the classroom for a little while, and the parents had an opportunity to go somewhere where here are the resources that are available to you, how can we help? Because if you're successful, your children are going to be successful. And I think a lot of times the children are so resilient, and I think it's great that they. Um, when they come to school, they see all this different stuff and things they could possibly be, but their heroes and their mentors are going to be their parents. And if they can see their parents pick themselves up and lift themselves up, they're going to know they can do it too. Right. And it may not be parents. It might be like, it might be grandma, yeah. it or might auntie, be auntie, or, or even cousin, or, or even just like the lady who did, did all the laundry. I mean, what a hero that is. And that person might not even be related to. She was so, not related to any of those families. Some, yes, but not all of them. Right. But you're absolutely right with that. And, well, and all of our principals are trying to figure this out. <laughs> and it's even, I think, even more important, too. Like you said, if we're all talking, everybody's trying to get on the same page, that's the real value of this work. Um, you know, concerned with, with, I keep coming back to our teachers and keeping this in their forefront. You know, just yesterday, um, one of my instructional coaches shared a, a story about a little boy in the classroom who just had his head down, he wasn't doing anything, and the teacher just said, Look, can you do something? talking to him and started a conversation about um, sports and uh, just to kind of get him to respond a little bit and um, she found out he liked football so she said you know I know a football player who now plays for a big team big team and he looked up you know he came up and looked up at her and said what do you mean a big team she said the Giants and he said I don't really like the Giants and she said you know, that's okay, but he is playing big football, you know, she said, he didn't like to work at school either, but he found out he had to do his work at school, and then 
all of a sudden he can lift his head up, but it's just that little bit of, you know, granted, the teacher had other students to take care of, but it, this only took a few minutes. Yeah, and right. by the end of that conversation, 